If you're alone with kids, try a classic treasure hunt or scavenger hunt that's fun and gets them moving. But you know what's more satisfying? Stumbling on a real loot, or like you folks call it, treasure. Imagine working on a small garden in your backyard, and you happen to find gold worth millions just lying there waiting to be discovered. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. From the great discovery of treasures worth over 4,000 pennies to treasure that fueled a decade-long civil war, here are the 20 biggest treasures ever discovered. Number 20. World's Largest Opal Matrix this happens to be a colossus of an opal matrix found in the fields of southern Australia. It's an unbelievably huge stone of some 55,000 carats in size. That's 11 kilos of opal, the same as 4 bricks or 4,500 pennies. It's got the mighty dimensions of 30 centimeters long, 15 to 20 centimeters high, and 4 centimeters thick. Uncut, its worth is estimated at more than a million dollars, but the total value will be far greater once cut up and made into jewelry. The previous largest opal weighed only 6,100 carats and can be considered a dwarf stone compared to this one. So what exactly are matrix opals? Well, they are of two types, which are the boulder matrix and, and a mucha matrix opal. The boulder matrix can be found exclusively in Queensland and is naturally occurring. It's got the name boulder because it's found most times near the deposits of boulder opal. Unlike the Andamooka matrix opal, there's no need to treat the boulder matrix before polishing because its rich and flashing colors are ready to shine through the dark ironstone. As for the Andamooka, it is usually pulled from the mine somewhere in the South Australian Andamooka region and looks unattractive until treated. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Hoxney Horde when Eric Law set off for a field in Hoxney Village, Suffolk, on 16th of November 1992, it certainly wasn't on a treasure hunt. He was given a metal detector as a retirement gift, which he had planned to use to find a hammer lost on the farmland, but he found more than just the hammer. With the help of archaeologists, the chunk of the earth was excavated with the treasure still within. After the dirt had been removed, the archaeologists had nearly 60 pounds of gold and silver objects, including 15,234 Roman coins, dozens of silver spoons and 200 gold objects. What a catch! The Hawksney Horde was the largest and latest ever found in Britain. In the 25 years since the unearthing of the Hawksney Horde, researchers have used the objects to learn more about one of Britain's most turbulent periods, known as the island's separation from the Roman Empire in 410 AD. And don't worry about Eric. The man was rewarded a good amount of 1.75 million pounds from the British government for finding the gold and leaving it intact. He then split the money with the farmer whose land the hoard was uncovered. He also eventually found the hammer, which later went on exhibit. So if you eventually find treasure, don't let the government know unless, of course, you're a pirate. Number 18. The Saddle Ridge Hoard. In 2013, the dream of finding gold treasure in one's backyard came true for a couple living in California. They discovered 1,427 gold coins dating back to 1847 to 1894 while walking their dog, initially stumbling upon one metal can containing gold coins. Then they went ahead to subsequent digging and exploration with the help of a metal detector, which led to the discovery of seven other cans filled with gold coins. The treasure was estimated to be worth $10 million. Why is it so valuable, you ask? According to experts, paper money was illegal in California until the 1870s, so it's extremely rare to find any coins from before that period. Where does it come from? Most of the coins were minted at the San Francisco Mint, but it's not clear who put them in the ground or how they were obtained. The collection of these coins consisted of four $5 gold pieces, 50 $10 gold pieces, and 1,373 $20 double eagles. And this coin find is considered the largest such discovery in US history. Number 17. Black Swan Treasure. This was due to a marine treasure hunt, which led to the discovery of treasures on the seabed dating back to various unsuccessful voyages over the centuries. The Black Swan Project is one such discovery that has led to the discovery of the wreck of Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes that capsized during the Battle of Cape Santa Maria. The Black Swan Project was conducted by Odyssey Marine Exploration, a Florida-based company. 
This project led to the discovery of gold and silver coins weighing an estimated 17 tons. The coins were recovered from the wreck of a Spanish frigate ship, which sank in 1804 off the Portuguese coast. The ship, Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes, had in its cargo gold, silver, cinnamon, and quinoa from Uruguay to Spain. The British Navy intercepted the ship, which led to an armed confrontation between the ship and the British Naval Task Force. A shot on the ship's magazine led to the sinking. Odyssey made a legal claim of their treasure in a U.S. court in April 2007, a claim made public in May the same year, prompting a five-year legal battle between the privately owned Odyssey and the Spanish government. The treasure retrieved consisted of gold and silver coins, worked gold, and artifacts. The coins were initially believed to be from the 17th century ship Merchant Royal, however, after examination by a rare coins expert, it was dated to the early 19th century. The treasure cost the Odyssey Marine Exploration Company about $2.6 million to cover retrieval, transport, storage, and conservation costs. Number 16. The San Jose Think again if you thought sunken shipwrecks loaded with treasures only existed in pirate tales. Located at the bottom of the Caribbean, off the coast of Colombia, is a sunken Spanish galleon laden with gold, a whopping $22 billion worth of gold. The 62-gun, three-masted ship known as the San Jose went down on June 8, 1708. Along with it, all 600 people on board and treasures of gold, silver, and emeralds were dragged to the ocean's bed, where they would remain for the next 300 years. The ship's whereabouts were a mystery until Massachusetts-based WHOI. Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute managed to capture images that located the San Jose in more than 600 meters of water. According to the WHOI engineer and expedition leader Mike Purcell, the wreck was partially sediment covered, but with the camera images from the lower altitude missions, we were able to see new details in the wreckage, and the resolution was good enough to make out the decorative carving on the cannons. The treasure has been the subject of legal battles between several nations and private companies, yet its exact location location remains a state secret. As for the treasure that remains on the seabed, at least until found by real treasure hunters or possibly pirates. Number 15. Staffordshire Hoard this was known to be the largest hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold ever found. Terry Herbert found this treasure. A farmer, when he used his metal detector over his farm in Staffordshire, it reminds me of Eric and his retirement metal detector. 3,500 cloisonne garnets, 5.94 kilos of gold, and 1.442 kilos of silver were found as Terry dug for the next five days. The reward for the findings, 3.285 million pounds, was split in half between the farmer and the landowner. It contains just under 4,000 objects and broken fragments, most of which are war gear. The quality of the craft is extremely high, which is remarkable given a large number of individual objects, such as swords or helmets, from which the elements in the hoard came. The hoard was buried in the 7th century 650 to 675 AD. We know this because some objects in the hoard are similar to pieces found at sites that can be better dated. No one knows who has buried the hoard, but it is impossible that the hoard belongs belong to the top ranks of Anglo-Saxon society. Experts have also theorized why the hoard was deposited, where it was, and who left the treasure. It may have been loot from a battle, the ransom for a king, an offering to the gods, or treasure hidden from attackers. We may never know the right answer. If you happen to have an idea, then let us know in the comment section. Number 14. The Ship of Gold Another case of a sunken shipwreck loaded with treasure, not just treasure, gold with tens of millions of dollars, has been discovered to be the greatest lost treasure in American history. The discovery has renewed speculation that gold worth tens of millions of dollars remain on the sunken ship. The SS Central America sank in 1857, killing 425 people and triggering one of the world's first financial crises. Experts say the vessel, which was caught in a hurricane 160 miles off the South Carolina coast, was carrying 21 tons of gold intended to prop up the cash-strapped banks of New York. As a result, its loss created financial panic. 
As of 2018, the 3100 gold coins, 45 gold bars, and more than 85 pounds of gold dust recovered from the wreckage of the SS Central America steamship are now sitting in a makeshift laboratory just south of Los Angeles. About 40 to 50 million dollars was discovered during expeditions to the wreck in the late 1980s and early 1990s before legal disputes closed down the operation. The gold found in the mid-April reconnaissance dive to the 85-meter long side wheel steamship is the first to be recovered in almost 25 years, but it's not clear exactly how much remains. Number 13. The Derby Jackpot If you are in a relationship, you might want to think about the hobbies you share, maybe fit metal detection as one of them, and you don't know when you just might hit the jackpot one day. A couple from Derby hit this jackpot after discovering a treasure hoard believed to be worth up to 5 million pounds. While searching an unplowed field in Northeast Somerset in January, the couples Adam and Lisa unearthed 2,571 silver coins, many of them in mint condition and valued at 1,000 pounds to 5,000 pounds each. This remarkable find comprises King Harold II Pennies, England's last Anglo-Saxon king, and William the Conqueror coins from after the Norman invasion of 1066. This find was made in a farmer's field in northeast Somerset while training friends to use metal detectors. According to Adam, it took about four or five hours to dig out those coins under a harsh thunderstorm. Experts say this is evidence that the person striking the coins avoided paying a fee to obtain an up-to-date design. It probably would have been a substantial amount of money at the time and belonged to an important, wealthy person who probably buried them for safekeeping. Number 12. Quairdale Hoard The Quairdale Hoard is a hoard of more than 8,600 items, including silver coins, English and Carolingian jewelry, hack silver, and ingots. It was discovered on 15 May 1840 on the southern bank of a bend of the river Ribble in an area called Quairdale near Preston, Lancashire, England. According to Richard Hall, the Quairdale Hoard is one of the largest Viking silver hoards ever found, four times larger than its nearest rival in Britain or Ireland. In weight and number of pieces, it is second only to the Spillings Hoard found in Gotland, Sweden. The coins in the hoard are from three sources, represented in the proportions 5, 1, 1. Viking kingdoms of eastern England are represented in the largest portion. The other two portions are of Alfred's kingdom of Wessex and coins from foreign sources, which include Byzantine, Scandinavian, Islamic, Papal, North Italian, and Carolingian mintings, many of the last from Aquitaine perhaps, Richard Hall suggests, acquired there in the Viking raids of 898. The coins found with the hoard revealed that it must have been buried in the years between 905 and 910, shortly after the expulsion of the Vikings from Dublin in 902. It is often assumed that hoards from the Viking Age were buried in times of danger and not recovered because the person who had hidden the hoard was killed, captured, or forced to flee. However, there are other possible reasons why treasure might be hidden and not recovered. Number 11. Petra Petra is the largest vein of emeralds ever found in Colombia and the third largest globally, with more than 60 crystals embedded in all sizes and shapes, a true miracle that can be witnessed in the Emerald Museum. This large emerald matrix was extracted from the Polveros mine in the mining area of Muzo, Boyaca. Petra is special because of the amount, size, quality, and display of crystals nicely embedded on a white calcite bed. Simply no other matrix can match these overwhelming features. It possesses a total weight of 236 pounds, and its measurements are 28 inches long and 21 inches wide, the only one with its characteristics in the country. Number 10. Santa Margarita Treasure the Santa Margarita was a Spanish ship of 600 tons armed with 25 cannons, second in riches only to her companion ship, Nuestra Señora de Atoca. It was one of a fleet of ships voyaging to Spain with an enormous cargo of plundered New World treasures. In registered wealth, the Santa Margarita carried 166 574,000 silver pieces of eight treasure coins, 587 ingots of silver wings some 10,000 pounds, and over 9,000 ounces of gold in the form of bars, discs, and bits. There was contraband, fortunes and unregistered treasures having been smuggled on board to avoid paying a 20% tax to the Spanish king. After departing the island of Cuba on 4th September, the fleet was overtaken by a rapidly developing storm. 
The fleet was wrecked near Marquesas Keys in the Florida Straits within days. More than 500 unlucky passengers and crew were drowned, 142 from the Santa Margarita, including the king's ransom and treasure, which posed a serious setback for Spain. In 1980, due largely to archival research conducted by Dr. Eugene Lyon, a team led by the late Mel Fisher discovered a 23-foot-long portion of the Santa Margarita. About $25 million in treasures and artifacts were recovered. Five years later, and just three miles away, Fisher's team discovered the lower hull section of the Atacus shipwreck and $400 million fine. Number 9. The Largest Tanzanite Stones a team of Tanzanian miners has discovered the largest Tanzanite stones ever seen in the country's history. 52-year-old Saninu Lizer, a Maasai small-scale miner, and his team found the two stones weighing 9.27 kilograms, which is equivalent to 20.4 pounds and 5.103 kilograms, equivalent to 11.3 pounds. At Mararani Hill in the Simanjiro district of the country's northern Manyara region, Lizer's mining company employs more than 200 diggers. He sold the stones, which have a blue or deep violet coloring and are only found in Tanzania, to the government for 7.7 .7 billion Tanzanian shillings, which was about $3.3 .3 million. It must be lucky to be him. And after being awarded a check during a ceremony attended by Tanzania's top government officials, Lizer said he would spend the funds on his community. What a selfless hero. Number 8. The Galloway Horde Currently held in the National Museum of Scotland is a hoard of more than 100 gold, silver, glass, crystal, stone, and earthen objects from the age of the Vikings discovered in the historical country of Kirkwood, Bridgeshire, in Dumfries and Galloway in Scotland in September 2014. Found on Church of Scotland land, the hoard has been described by experts as one of the most significant Viking hoards ever found in Scotland. It was discovered by a metal detector enthusiast who reported the find to the authorities. A county archaeologist conducted an excavation that unearthed a rich and unusually varied collection of objects from the Viking Age. However, some of the objects considerably predate that period. It is thought that the hoard was buried some time in the mid-9th or 10th century, though it is unknown why it is buried. The hoard consists of objects including armbands, a Christian cross, brooches, glass beads, a golden case touchstone, and dirt balls containing flecks of gold and bone, all in a silver vessel. These include the largest and most varied collection of the Viking Age gold objects yet found in Britain and Ireland. The items among the treasure originated across a wide geographic area, Anglo-Saxon, Ireland, and Scandinavia. The hoard has some similarities with other Viking finds, but its mixture of materials, including the textiles wrapped around the vessel, has been described by experts as unique. Number 7. The Welcome Stranger Nugget The Welcome Stranger is the biggest alluvial gold nugget that has ever been found, which had a calculated refined weight of 97.14 kilograms. It measured 61 by 31 centimeters and was discovered by prospectors John Deason and Richard Oates on 5th of February in 1869. at Molia Ghoul, Victoria, Australia, about nine miles northwest of Dunolly. The stranger was found only 1.2 and below the surface, near the base of a tree on a slope leading to what was then known as Bulldog Gully. The nugget had a gross weight of 109.59 kilograms. Its trimmed weight was 78 kilograms, and its net weight was 72.2 kilograms. At the time of the discovery, there were no scales capable of weighing a nugget this large, so it was broken into three pieces on on an anvil by Donnelly based blacksmith Archibald Walls. Deason, Oates, and a few friends took the nugget to the London Chartered Bank of Australia and Dunnelly, which advanced them £9,000. Deason and Oates were finally paid an estimated £9,381, which should be equivalent to $666,000 in 2018, for their nugget, which became known as the Welcome Stranger. In August 2019, gold prices would be worth $3.4 million. It was heavier than the Welcome Nugget of 69 kilograms that had been found 
found in Ballarat in 1858. The nugget was melted down and the gold was sent as ingots to Melbourne for forwarding to the Bank of England. It left the country on board the steamship Rygate, which departed on 21 February. An obelisk commemorating the discovery of the Welcome Stranger was erected near the spot in 1897. A replica of the Welcome Stranger is the old Treasury Building, Treasury Place, Melbourne, Victoria. Another replica is owned by descendants of John Deason and is now on display at the Dunnelly Rural in case you want to see for yourself. Number 6. The Terracotta Army the Terracotta Army is a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. It is a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 210 to 209 BCE with the purpose of protecting the emperor and his afterlife. Spooky, right? The figures, dating from approximately the late 3rd century BCE, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers in Lintong County, outside Xi'an, Shangxi, China. The figures vary in height according to their roles, the tallest being the generals. The figures also include warriors, chariots, and horses. The Terracotta Army was discovered on 29 March 1974 by a group of farmers, Yang Zifa, his five brothers, and neighbor Wang Pusi who were digging a well approximately 1.5 kilometers east of the Qin Emperor's tomb, mound at Mount Li, a region riddled with underground springs and watercourses. This discovery prompted Chinese archaeologists to investigate, revealing the largest pottery figuring group ever found. A museum complex has been constructed over the area with the largest pit enclosed by a roof structure. Estimates from 2007 were that the three pits containing the Terracotta Army held more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, the majority of which remained buried in the pits near Queen Shi Huang's mausoleum. Other terracotta non-military figures were found in other pits, including officials, acrobats, strongmen, and musicians. This should definitely get rid of the army of the dead. Number 5. Sirota Treasure the Sirota treasure is a hoard of silver and gold coins, gold jewelry, and precious stones and dates from the mid-14th century. Its largest component is silver coins, of which there are about 3,000 pieces. The hoard was found in the years 1985 to 1988 during renovation works in the Silesan town of Sirota Slaska, Poland. Today it is mostly kept in the regional museum in Sirota Slaska. These gold and silver coins were discovered during demolition works and digging for the foundation of the local town telephone exchange building in the town of Sroda on 8 June 1985. The authorities secured the original find, which was a vase filled with approximately 3,000 Prague Groschen. However, no serious archaeological study was carried out at that time. Three years later, on 24 May 1988, during another demolition in the vicinity of the first discovery, another even bigger find was reported including silver and gold florin coins. Most of these new finds disappeared before the site was secured by the authorities. Archaeologists began to investigate the site, and the government announced a plan to buy black items that had been looted. Later, a criminal investigation was launched targeting those who still refused to turn back the items they had taken. Although many items were recovered, it is agreed that there are still missing items. Looted items have been recovered intermittently. Number 4. The Golden Treasure of Panagyu Rishte Three brothers, Pavel, Petko, and Mikhail Dykov, are digging for a clay at a tile factory named Panyurishte, Bulgaria, when one of them stumbled across what he thought was a strange whistle. Further digging uncovered more objects, and when the brothers took their finds to the mayor's office, they found that they were made of gold, and there were a lot more where they came from. Actually, rather than being a whistle, the first thing they'd found turned out to be a ceremonial drinking horn, dating from the 4th century BCE. There were also golden decanters, a kind of dish, and a vase, all of which thought to have been used in religious rites. All in all, they found more than 13 pounds of solid gold carved into elaborate shapes and intricately decorated. Then Panagyurishte treasure, named after a tongue-twisting town in Bulgaria, is a masterpiece of Thracian workmanship. It consists of fial, an amphora, and seven rythons, all made of solid 24-karat gold. The treasure weighs a total of 6.164 kilograms and is 
arguably the single most valuable set of artifacts ever found on the territory of Bulgaria. The first copy of the treasure can be seen in the Inn of Hadji Nikoli in Veliko Tarnovo until October 2012, after which it will return to the Archaeological Museum in Plovdiv. Number 3. The Bactrian Gold Hoard Golden Hill, or Golden Mound, is an archaeological site in the northern Afghanistan province of Jaozhan, near Shebergan, excavated in 1978 by a Soviet-Afghan team led by the Soviet archaeologist Viktor Saranidi. The hoard found there is often known as the Bactrian Gold. The hoard is a collection of about 20,600 ornaments, coins, and other kinds of artifacts made of gold, silver, and ivory that were found in six burial mounds erected for five women and one man. With extremely rich jewelry, dated to around the 1st century BCE, 1st century CE. The hoard was thought to have been lost at some point in the 1990s. The National Museum of Afghanistan having been looted numerous times, resulting in a loss of 70% of the 100,000 objects on display. In 2003, however, it was found in secret vaults under the Central Bank building in Kabul. The ornaments include necklaces set with semi-precious stones, belts, medallions, and a crown. After its discovery, the hoard went missing during the wars in Afghanistan until it was rediscovered and first brought to public attention again in 2003. A new museum in Kabul is being planned where the Bactrian gold will eventually be kept. The heavily fortified town of Niemshitepe, just 5 kilometers to the northeast of modern Shebugren, on the road to Akcha, is only a half kilometer from the now famous necropolis of Golden Hill. Number 2. Antikythera Shipwreck Treasure the site of the Antikythera wreck holds the remains of a Greek trading or cargo ship dating from the 1st century BCE. It is located on the east side of the Greek island of Antikythera near Crete at the crossroads of the Mediterranean seas. The wreck was discovered in the spring of 1900 by a group of Greek sponge divers on their way to Tunisia who took shelter from a storm near the island and decided to look for sponges while waiting for calmer conditions. One of the divers discovered the wreck at depths reported between 40 and 50 meters. In November of the same year, the captain of the sponge boat informed Greek officials about what they had found. <laughs> and the Navy dispatched two ships to support recovery efforts, which lasted until 1902. That excavation revealed a wealth of discoveries that today are housed in Greece's National Archaeological Museum in Athens. These included three life-sized marble horses, jewelry, coins, glassware, and hundreds of works of art, including a seven-foot-tall colossus statue of Hercules. More than 70 years later, Jacques Cousteau was invited to explore the wreck. His team recovered hundreds more artifacts, plus the remains of four people. His television program Diving for Roman Plunder popularized the wreck for a new generation. Number 1. World's Largest Uncut Diamonds one of the world's largest uncut diamonds to be discovered in the country in four decades has been found by Pastor in the small village of Kakandu. These uncut diamonds were believed to weigh about 706 carats in Sierra Leone's eastern Kono region. According to government sources, the stone, a photograph of which was posted on the president's official website, is being stored in the country's central bank. A local chief from Kono handed the stone to President Ernest Bai Koroma on behalf of Emmanuel Momo who made the discovery, and the government plans to auction it. These diamonds fueled a decade-long civil war that ended in 2002, in which 50,000 people were killed. Rebels forced civilians in the east to mine the stones and bought weapons with the proceeds, leading to the term blood diamonds. Although the stone is yet to be valued, but could be worth millions of dollars, according to the World Bank data, Sierra Leone's gross national income per capita stood at $620 in 2015. That's it for the 20 biggest treasures ever discovered. If you have any more treasure hunt discoveries or possibly an adventure that may have led you to one of these discoveries, then let us know in the comment section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.